In this video, I'm reviewing a new high fidelity hearing protector called Eros One. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and Founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. The absolute best way to treat a hearing loss is to never sustain a hearing loss in the first place. In fact, nothing would make me happier than to never have to tell another one of my patients that they have a hearing loss related to noise exposure. The fact is, noise-induced hearing loss is one of the most common hearing losses out there, and it can be easily prevented just by protecting your hearing. Now, when it comes to noise exposure, we have to keep two things in mind. The intensity of the sound, which is how loud the sound is, and the duration of the sound, which is how long you are exposed to that noise. Think of a gunshot. The intensity of a gunshot, depending on the type of gun that you're shooting, can have a peak amplitude of over 140 decibels, which is an insane amount of volume, but it has a very short duration. Now think of a music concert. The intensity of a music concert is significantly less than the intensity of a gunshot. You're looking at more of around 100 to 110 decibels as opposed to 140 decibels and higher, but you're exposed to that 100 to 110 decibel sound significantly longer than you are with a gunshot. If you are firing guns, it is a terrific idea to maximize the amount of protection that you have by taking foam earplugs and sticking those three quarters of the way into your ear canal. Now, if you're using larger rifles or shotguns, you might even want to take a set of hearing protection earmuffs to put over those as well. However, if you're going to a concert, you don't necessarily want to use the traditional foam earplugs because they can attenuate the sound too much and they can distort the sound quality by attenuating some frequencies more than others. But that's where a high fidelity hearing protection protector comes into play like the Eros One. The Eros One is a hearing protector that is designed to give you flat attenuation and this is really important because it softens the overall volume of things but it doesn't take away from the sound quality of speech or music. And to boot, these don't give you that plugged up sensation that you would get with a traditional foam hearing protector. They come with an acoustic filter, which is the plastic part that can be seen and is specific to each ear. And they also come with different size silicone tips so they can accommodate most ear canals. And since there are so many counterfeiters out there, make sure that you click the link in my description below to make sure you get the real ones if you want to check them out for yourself. They go in differently than a traditional earplug. You basically stick it in your ear and twist it down to lock it into place. Now I had a chance to test these guys out at a Bon Jovi concert a few weeks ago that was consistently pushing 100 decibels where my friends and I were standing just to see how well they work to lower the volume without taking away from the quality of the music. The true test came during the song Living on a Prayer and I've got to say the music sounded great and the level of attenuation was just right. Now the secret behind any good high fidelity hearing protector is flat attenuation. This is when the amount of sound that's being reduced is reduced equal amounts at each of the frequency ranges, maintaining the natural ear canal residence of the user, keeping sound sounding natural. Now I tested the Eros ones to see how well they evenly attenuate sound and here are the results. To illustrate this, I've plotted the hearing thresholds of my naked ears with the blue X's and the additional attenuation provided by the Eros ones with the red O's. Ideally, what we would want to see is a nice even reduction of the red O's across the entire frequency range. This would indicate that the attenuation characteristics of the Eros ones are flat. You can see here that they do reduce my hearing sensitivity at each frequency tested and the response does mirror my naked ears. I would say that they provide a little more reduction in the high frequencies than they do the low frequencies. The Eros ones have a noise reduction rating or NRR of up to 17 dB. This is really important when you start to determine how long you can spend inside of a noisy environment before risking hearing damage. According to the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health and the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, these are the permissible noise levels and duration of the time that you can spend in those noise levels before you risk damage to your hearing. Now, according to NIOSH, if we were to be at the Bon Jovi concert unprotected for 15 minutes, I would be at risk for hearing loss. OSHA's standards are a little bit more lenient than NIOSH, but I tend to be more on the cautious side when I'm looking at these numbers. These exposure levels are reduced when wearing hearing protection, thereby increasing the amount of time you can spend in a noisy environment before risking hearing loss. The noise reduction rating, or NRR, of the Eros One hearing protectors is 17 dB. 
However, in order to calculate how much reduction a protector gives you, we need to do a calculation. If we subtract 7 dB from the NRR of a hearing protector and then divide that number by 2, this gives us a number that we can subtract from the dBA exposure level. For the Eros 1, this number comes to 5. So if we look at the NIOSH numbers on the chart again, if we subtract 5 from 100 dBA, that puts us around 95 dB, which means that we could stay at that noise level inside of the concert for about one hour. According to OSHA, a 95 dBA exposure level means we could stay in that environment for up to four hours before risking hearing loss. A more traditional foam earplug can give you a noise reduction rating or NRR value of up to 33 dB, which is significantly more attenuation than what you would get from an Eros 1. And so if you were to take these foam earplugs and go into a noisy cafe or a music concert, it would attenuate things too much and it wouldn't evenly attenuate them, which makes the Eros 1 really a better option when you're in a noisy environment and you still want to appreciate the sound quality of either someone speaking to you or listening to music. The Eros 1s work really well when you're trying to give a little bit of attenuation to sound and you don't want to have that plugged up feeling that traditional earplugs give you. But there are a few things that I didn't like about these plugs. Number one, it's really hard to tell if you actually have them inside of your ear canals correctly. Because they don't give you much of that plugging sensation like you would get with the traditional hearing protector, it's really hard to tell if you've got them in the right spot and that they're actually doing their job correctly. And number two, when you get them into your ear canals correctly, you get them twisted down and locked into place they really aren't that comfortable. I don't think I could wear these for longer than an hour or two, where with some other brands that I've tried of high fidelity hearing protectors, I could pretty much wear them all day. Other than that, the Eros One high fidelity hearing protectors are a solid, cool looking, non-custom option for individuals who want to reduce their overall exposure to noise without significantly altering sound quality. So if you're someone who regularly attends concerts, nightclubs, noisy bars, and sporting events, I highly recommend you pick yourself up a set of high fidelity hearing protectors. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please share it. If you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.